I had a recent evolvement or change in my relationship to my higher self. And initially I wasn't really sure if I should share this, but then I just said, well, <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. I just get myself out of my comfort zone and share with you what has happened. Uh, because I really can't believe it myself yet completely. So let's get a little bit mystical today, shall we? If the terminology higher self doesn't really mean anything to you, you might not have heard it before, or if you have heard it, you ask yourself, what does it actually mean? I want to go into that first before I share with you what happened to me. And you ask yourself maybe, what does it actually mean, your higher self? What is the higher self? But the better question to ask is really, what does it mean to you? Or what does it mean to me? Because everybody has their own definition or should have their own definition. Sure, you can get inspiration from my description and from others. But in the end, I want you to come up with, with your own definition. I think as unique as we are, as unique is your definition of your higher self and your relationship with your higher self. So let me share with you what my definition of the higher self is. My higher self is a part of me. It is my connection to the divine. I am a spiritual being that has a human experience in this 3D reality. And my higher self is my connection to that divine. It is actually a part of me. It is me. And it is the part that selected this human life to experience as part of a bigger experience. You know, I chose this life as my higher self, but I'm just not aware of it. I cannot at the moment experience being my higher self. I can only experience being Linda in this 3D reality. So in a nutshell, that is very briefly, my description of my higher self. And I talked about my higher self already in previous episodes, especially episode 99, where I shared with you how I started to receive messages from my higher self and what I actually do with these messages. So check out episode 99 if you want to know more about how it all started and how it evolved already over the last couple of years. But actually, since that episode, which was middle of last year, the relationship has evolved further. And the full picture I actually just got last week. So this is all very new to me. And to be honest, kind of still confusing. I still don't know what it really truly means, but I still want to show, share it with you. I decided to open up about my spiritual experience and share with you what happened to me over the last few months, but then as well next week when it all <laughs> was made clear to me. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it, but I just said to myself, Linda, just get the heck out of your comfort zone and do something that makes you feel uncomfortable. And that's what I'm doing today. And I wanna do that because maybe you have spiritual experiences and maybe you don't have anybody to talk about or you don't have anybody else who can share their experiences with you. So I want you to not be by yourself or feel alone. And maybe you want to have more spiritual experiences. So listening to mine might give you a little bit of an idea of how it looks like, an inspiration to just keep going for it and keep working to get these experiences in your life. I think that spiritual experiences look different for every person and I have spoken to a lot of friends and uh, acquaintances who have spiritual experiences and everybody everybody's experience looks completely different but at the end we all come together and we we agree that we if experience our higher selves or the divine or just something amazing. It's more about the feeling of what we've experienced and the sharing of it and just knowing that there is so much more to experience than this 3D reality. So let's get into it. Since the last summer, I've explored a few new spiritual practices 
And on two occasions during those spiritual practices, I've felt or I became aware of a presence in the room. And it was a energetic presence that it looked to me dark. It was just kind of nothingness. It had no color to it. It had a human-like shape, but it was just more of an energetic presence. And that was already pretty cool by itself. But it was there to give me and the other people in the room energetic healing. So it gave us energy to heal something inside of ourselves or just to feel better. And that by itself was already an amazing experience. So that was my initial experiences that are part of the story. And it just happened twice until last week when it happened again, slightly different. So last weekend I was together with friends and we meditated a lot. And in the first meditation towards the end, I experienced that present or a similar presence right next to me. And it asked me to give it, give it my hands. And then it did some kind of signs on my hands. And then it asked me to take my hands and put them uh, on both sides of my friend who was sitting next to me and just allow the energy to flow through my hands and that all of that happened literally in just a minute it was very quickly over and then the meditation was actually over so i took my hands back and all of this happened in an energetic way i didn't actually move myself i didn't move my hands this all happened on an another dimension i would just call it an energetic kind of way. You can you can see it like an imaginary way. I've just imagined doing it, but I know I did it. So I took my hands back and when it was over I asked the presence if I did a good job and they said, "Yeah, you've did it. You did a good job. You've done fantastic, Linda. Thank you." And then it was over. And that was so surreal and um, because it, again it was a new experience to me to actually communicate that directly with the presence and of course being as well kind of touched and then doing something so it was again another level of experience and I even told my friends about it but I didn't really think much of it I just said wow this was crazy this was surreal and this was amazing but that's it and then I had a huge revelation on the last meditation of the weekend so one day later and like I said already, I am myself still very confused. I don't know exactly yet what it means to me. And I think um, that will still come in my life. I will still understand later on why I got that information. But I still want to share it with you today. So we were in the last meditation. And I actually talked about that meditation already in the last episode, episode 132, but for another reason. So now I'm going to tell you the other information that I received through that, uh, in that meditation, which was that the presences that I've experienced on these three occasions weren't just random presences. They were not sent by somebody else. They were not different presences, but actually that they were my higher self. And in that moment, it, during the meditation, I was like, what? What does that mean? What does it mean to me? And as you can see now or hear me um, talking about it, I still feel like, what the heck does that mean? Um, and like I said, I still don't know. I'm still confused about it, but I just got the information that that was my higher self being with me and supporting me or helping me with something that I needed at that time or that the people around me needed at that time. Um, and yeah, my mind was blown and my, my mind is still blown at, to this moment. And it will probably still sink in a little bit more until it's not blown anymore. <laughs> For me personally, this is a huge involvement in my relationship with my higher self. Previously, I just received messages and, um, and did something with it or, or I didn't. 
But now I have a presence that is there, that represents my higher self, that is actually interacting with me and helping me and supporting me. And it's, it's truly magical. It's so amazing. At the same time, it's so surreal and still very confusing, like I probably said already 10 times in this episode. But I am... I am just truly amazed by this quick involvement over the last few months and never in a million years would I have thought a few years ago or even a few months ago that this kind of stuff would happen to me, that I would evolve and experience something like that. And that is probably as well a reason why I'm sharing this with you because of you realizing what you can still experience in this lifetime and that it can go ha and happen in any kind of shape and form and in the most surprising way to you. And that is just so fantastic to know that there is just so much more to experience in this lifetime. So my intention is to keep updating you on my spiritual journey and keep sharing what is evolving and what is coming next and what is happening to me next. And if this is not your cup of tea, that's absolutely fine. Then just listen to the other kind of episodes that are more practical, more connected to the 3D reality, which is our world, our earth. And don't listen to these episodes that are more mystical or spiritual. But I feel that there is something inside of me that wants me to embrace this more, this part of me that I never thought would happen to me and share it with the world as well. By sharing it with you, I'm actually embracing this spiritual side, this more mystical side for myself, which is very new to me as well. And yes, it is mind-blowing, it is amazing. And at the same time, it's as well scary because it's the unknown and It's not scary because it is scary. That's not it. It is scary because our human nature is, um, our human nature just sees it as scary. If we are stepping out of our comfort zone, if we are in the unknown, our systems, our nervous system sees everything as a threat. And that's why it's scary. Not because the experience is scary. The experience is amazing. And I'm wondering, where is this going to take me, right? Because if this is happening, it's like, okay, what is happening next? And I'm truly excited about it with a tiny bit of scariness, which will not allow me to stop me from keep going and keep evolving and keep un understanding more about my relationship with my higher self. And if you are interested in experiencing something similar, experience your own spiritual awakening and connecting more as well with your higher self, I actually created a subliminal for it. So it's fully packed with affirmations to help your subconscious mind to allow more of that connection to your higher self, to the divine. The subconscious mind is actually the bridge between our life here, our physical form and the personality that we live our life here with and the divine. So reprogramming your subconscious mind to allow that connection to grow is really helpful for you to receive more messages from your higher self or to have those spiritual experiences if you want to have them. So go and listen to that subliminal to reprogram your subconscious mind more to get more. And you can find it on my YouTube channel. It's called Connection to the Divine Subliminal and I will put the link in the video descriptions below for you to go straight to it if you want to try it out. Well, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Let me know in the comments what you think about all of this. And if you want to know more about my experiences, I would love to connect with you on this topic. And well, uh, all I have to say is thank you so much for watching this video today. I am honored that you are here and really appreciate you. And with that, I love you and leave you. Talk soon and bye bye.